everybody, how's it going? Daryl here. So in the world of mobile DJing, there's fewer things that make our lives easier than wireless DMX. And so today I'll be reviewing a wireless DMX and transmitter set from Van Goa. So you can pick this up on Amazon for $190, but for my viewers, I have a special coupon code to give you substantial savings and I have that in the description below. So without further ado, let me go ahead and unbox this thing. So it comes with this really nice case an instruction manual, and seven receivers, one transmitter, and eight power supplies. And each component has a place in this nice molded foam case. And so in 2023, there's many different types of wireless DMX transmitters and different protocols that can be confusing. So this Van Goa wireless DMX set is just normal wireless DMX, just the standard protocol operating on the 2.4 gigahertz band. And there's a lot of wireless DMX transmitters and receivers on the market, Donner, Chinley, and these should play nicely with those because they all operate with the same protocol. And this will even work with your wireless DMX uplights that have built-in wireless DMX receivers, as long as it's normal wireless DMX. So the receivers look like this with a female XLR. The one transmitter has a male XLR like this. A one transmitter can transmit to many receivers. But they all have to be on the same band, which I will go over in just a moment. Each one of these has an antenna that can go straight for storage or it can go upright for optimal transmission. The range of these is several hundred feet, and unlike other wireless DMX sets, this set from Van Goa does not have built-in battery. That's okay, because I find myself plugging in my battery receivers anyway, just to make sure it can last like an entire day. Each of these power supplies include a USB power adapter, which is really nice because you can plug this into the wall, and you have the versatility to plug this into a USB power bank or into like your laptop. So this is where you plug in the power supply, just like that. So I have the receiver and the transmitter plugged in and right now they're on the same channel, red, which is really important. They need to be on the same channel to talk to each other. And red is the default and usually that is fine, but they have several different channels in case you're experiencing interference. Maybe there's a mobile DJ in the ballroom next door and he's also using wireless DMX and he might be using the red channel. So you need to use a different channel. So to change the channel, you need a hex key or something small and rigid. So I have this hex key right here and this is not provided. You have to provide your own object but right above the light, there's a hole. So with the key inserted, there's a button and you can press and it will change the color. So like red, green, yellow, blue, purple, teal, white, back to red. So if you change the transmission color of like one of these, you have to do it for all of them. And if you have multiple transmitters, then you can have like different transmitters transmitting to different receivers based on the color. So for example, I have my both Air 4 right here. This has built-in wireless DMX. And in this top corner, there is a blinking red sign. That means it's on the red channel. And that means it's connected to my transmitter, which is not really transmitting anything at the moment. So you can plug in this transmitter into your favorite DMX source. So it could be a DMX control hardware. It could be a USB to DMX interface, like the SoundSwitch Control 1 or the Show Express. So you have your computer plugged into here through the USB. And then this wireless transmitter transmits it to all your light fixtures. And then you would plug in the receiver into the DMX in of your light fixture. That way you can connect them without any wires. All right, so what do I think of this Van Goa wireless DMX set? So today in 2023, there's a lot more new DMX protocols coming out. There's CRMX, WDMX, JMAZ has a proprietary one. Jove DJ has their DeFi. There's just so many different wireless DMX protocols coming out. The hardware doesn't play well with each other. But for mobile DJing, I still think that normal wireless DMX is a really solid solution to control your lights wirelessly. Especially a lot of these lights that come from overseas, from China, especially like these both up lights that have built-in wireless DMX receivers in them. Being able to connect to that wirelessly is very valuable. For mobile DJing, like, Wireless DMX is just a huge convenience and it's good for most of the time we're not really putting wireless DMX in the most rigorous edge cases. So I still think it's really valuable to have a set of these. So for this particular set, like if I had to compare this to another popular brand like Donner, I wouldn't give the advantage to either one really. 
I think that they're both probably the same hardware under the hood. I will say though that other brands have been offering wireless DMX for longer. Van Gogh has just recently started offering wireless DMX. And I think that the non-battery set is still valuable. And so while I think that the plug-in model is still really valuable, because I plug in my battery ones anyways, it'd be nice for Van Gogh to offer like a battery wireless DMX solution as well in the future. That just adds an extra level of convenience. I really do like this case. Like my Donner dongles, like I bought a pistol case from Walmart and I just kind of throw them in there without any rhyme or reason and this is just a lot neater and this case is like really really nice it feels like very premium and very solid this will protect your gear it's lightweight has a nice rubber handle I think that this case alone is awesome but at the same time I usually keep my fixtures plugged in during transport just so that it's easier to use them so with this case you have to take everything apart and put it in its place so i guess that could be good or bad i feel like this this van gogh wireless dmx set is just another solid entry in a long list of products i think that the case is the one thing that really makes it stand out from others so what are your thoughts on wireless dmx or this van gogh set let me know what you think down below in the comment section so please smash like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video